This feels so weird. I haven't. Oh my god! It is just. I'm really excited to film, and I just. I don't know. I just feel really happy right now. Like I haven't been away from filming in a long time. Like you guys know me. I upload so much, so it just that definitely does feel a bit weird. I feel like I've forgotten how to talk in front of the camera. Like I was. I was telling everyone like just go in your rooms because like this just feels weird. Normally I'm not shy to talk in front of the camera in front of people, but you know it just feels a bit weird now. Um. Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing really well and if you are new here my name is Anushka. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos from me and I am gonna do my post notification shout out. I have saved some, let me check, let me check. Actually, I think today I'm gonna do my post notification shout out to all of you guys who have shown me so much support. You know, over the past few days it's been well over a week now, I think, yeah week and a half I would say that I've been off you know social media I was a bit on Instagram updating you guys and some of you may know why I was away I just wanted to give everyone that, that supported me throughout you know all the time but throughout this past week um, a shout out because you know it's really 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 helped me the past week has been very very difficult for me and the family anyways I am gonna do some makeup therapy today I just need to you know play around with makeup because I really really do miss it I I wanted to film earlier on but it just didn't feel right to do makeup and I didn't want to do any other type of video so you know I decided to just stay off YouTube until I felt like you know I really wanted to do it and I felt ready so yeah I'm just going to be playing with makeup and you know doing a crazy look I think I'm going to do a crazy look today but um also just talk to you guys about what's been happening how I've been feeling anyways I'm going to start off with my embryo lease La Creme Concentré, Concentré. My Embryo Lace Face Moisturiser. I don't know why I feel so nervous filming. This is so weird, this is so unlike me. And I already did do my eyebrows. 
I think I'm going to start off with the eyes because, you know, we're going to be doing, I think I'm going to go for a blue look today. As you guys know, our dog Lily, who <coughs> we've had for 14 years, um, has recently passed away. We had to put her down because she had already a lot of things going on for her. Like she had heart problems that she was already on medication from. So... And she gets really nervous, like her heart beats so fast when someone tries to, like especially when we go to the vet and when they try to sedate her to do the heart scan and all that, her like gums went blue and so she really can't take it, her heart's not strong enough. The week before, in the middle of the week, we started to see a lump that was quite big. This lump grew very, very fast over like a period of a day and a half. You could say two days maybe before like but when we kind of noticed the lump she started to get really fatigued and she couldn't walk she was stumbling kind of like losing control of her legs and like falling over and anyways we've we brought her to the vet and they kind of said you know we think this is a malignant tumor that may have metastasized to other parts of her body because obviously she was kind of having these like mini seizures there were so many factors that the operation was an option but but there were so many other factors that we had to take into consideration like for example her heart her stress levels her age just so many things that could go wrong so we had to make the decision to either put her through all of that or you know put her to sleep and when the vet really said that to us i mean the whole family was there it was very it was very difficult like I ain't gonna cry. No, it ain't gonna happen today. I can't, guys. I've cried too much. The vet gave her some shots that are very strong painkillers. They she also gave us pain very strong painkillers, tramadol, to help her in the night because she said spend a day with her, spend as much time as you can with her, and bring her tomorrow around like it was supposed to be three, and we'll discuss what you guys want to do. But operation surgery, having a surgery was something we didn't really want to do for her because of her age of all the other factors we didn't want her to go away in her surgery and we're not we're not being with we're not there with her so we brought her home it was so funny when she got her shots done she was obviously so tired and she was like kind of sleeping and she would hold her nose against the holes in her cage because she couldn't really walk to be honest and she was like holding her nose and it would literally go like this. It was just so cute. I wish I filmed that. So we spent time with her. Everyone had her, their long hugs with her. And, you know, we tried to make the most time. This period, she was okay. She was just sleeping most of the time and laying down. And when she had, when I gave her her tramadol, she knocked out for a good few hours. And, you know, she was laying on my brother's, um, she was just laying on my brother like a little baby. Like, um, and she would just sleep there on you. So she was, she was having good sleep, I would say. She was able to sleep. But when the pain started to kick in around that same day when we did bring her to the vet, because the tumour had grown so quick. Like, it was, like, growing before our eyes. Like, I swear down, you look at back at it in an hour and it's already big and it almost got the size of her. Like, it was all over her chest. It was so big, so bluey reddish kind of color and it looks so painful i didn't think i thought i was okay like normally i'm okay i've talked about this so many times so that i feel okay with it i don't know it was really hard because when the pain really started to kick in she was crying a lot and we just had to meet it was around midnight we had to bring her back to the emergency vets and when the vet saw the tumour again, she was like, this is unoperable. Like, it's growing so fast and there was a high chance of it spreading everywhere as well. So we obviously had to put her to sleep. And I know we made a good de decision because she was in so much pain. And I feel like even the vet said, like, she's very lucky because she's had a very long life. Um, 14 years is very rare for dogs. And the deterioration of her health was very quick like it happened over a space of two days you could say so she only really 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 suffered we could tell in her last hour and a half when we were in the car to the vets she was 
howling. I've never heard our dog howl. So she was obviously in a lot of pain and I think it was very difficult to see that, to see something. I told my brother, I ain't gonna cry. This is gonna be a happy video because you know, I wanna think about all the good times we had with her, but it's very difficult to it's very difficult to see some something that you've been so close with for almost your whole life just go like that because I was holding her and the way she's just gone like and I think that was the hardest thing to deal with because you know she's not going to be there anymore I know I share a lot of good things on my channel but you know this is something that I've had to deal with and I would say I'm quite an open book I'm crying, I'm upset because I, when I think about those last few moments we had with her, it was very hard. It's not it's something that I've never really, like, um, dealt with true loss before. I'm going to start doing makeup because then I'll feel better, like, talking about this. I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape. I think I'm going to do one eye first. I have never had to kind of deal with a loss. Uh, we did actually, Lily had a baby and we kept one of hers and gave the other two away to family and our neighbour. And we had her daughter and she died at a very young age. She had an accident and so that was difficult but I was young and I didn't really understand it. It was hard at the time, I remember. but. With Lily, it's like I've never felt this way before. I think you really do realise that this being is not going to be here anymore. I'm not going to be able to stroke her or she's not going to be there when I'm sad, you know? Over the past few weeks, I've spent a lot of time with family. We just, you know, talk about her a lot. And I think if you have an animal, you understand where I'm coming from because I feel like not everyone understands it. I've been okay. I have been okay. I know I'm, I'm upset now, but, you know, it's still quite recent and I can't just lay around and do nothing all day. I think that's not healthy for me. I need to get back into this and I've missed filming so much. I've missed playing with makeup. Like, I've barely put makeup in the past few days and there were some other things that were keeping me busy, which was really good, but I feel like I need to get in... Back, I need to get back into filming because, you know, that's what really makes me happy and, you know, feel better. And I'm so sorry, guys, if I got upset, but, you know, I share a bit of everything with you guys and you're kind of like my second family. I know it sound weird, sounds weird, but I don't realise, you don't realise how much you've done for me and how many doors you've opened for me. And, you know, just, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you guys. So, obviously, I do... I don't mind sharing these type of things because you know it's life and I don't want to be someone that never talks about Lily like she was such a happy beautiful soul and I'm always going to talk about her even though sometimes it does make me sad because I feel like if that cancer was not there she'd still be here so I do want another dog because I miss that dog energy but I'm not in a position right now to get another one having a dog is a lot of responsibility but anyways, I'm using the new Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsessions palette. They, she has these precious tones. I think it's precious tones. Um, palette, and I'm going to use the blue one today. So I think I'm going to go with this blue right here. I've never experienced like true loss before like I'm like though this feeling of I wish this person or being was still here with me you know and sometimes I think about it and it's just crazy like she's not gonna be there anymore <sighs> it's very difficult that blue is very pigmented though <laughs> I'm gonna take some of this weird like lime green color it's a weird color I'm gonna use this and just blend it above that blue so like that blue kind of blends in a bit better. 
I'm just trying to blend this blue nicely with that. It's like a weird like lime color. I think I'm gonna take this beautiful silver right here. Oh, it's so stunning. And I'm just gonna, gonna work. Definitely works better with a finger. I want to put it more like higher here. It's so weird because the cat, this guy who was very close with Lily, um, definitely noticed the difference because she was looking around my mom's bed like in the quilt or back behind the bed because Lily was most of the time in my mom's room and so she definitely noticed the difference and she looked a bit down I I'm not lying guys like I'm not I'm, I'm not even joking guys like she looked really down like she wasn't her normal like playful self I'm gonna take some of this dark blue here and use this in the outer corner I'm gonna put this beautiful like I don't even know how to explain this it's like that mossy water ocean color I don't know it's a beautiful color and I'm just gonna tap this between that matte blue and the silver just to kind of create a transition um, those eyeshadows are just beautiful though um, and these are my class classy lashes Claudia lashes okay so I've already popped my lash on and I'm just gonna um, use some of my Technic eyeliner and just pop that. I always say I'm not gonna do eyeliner, but then I end up doing some type of eyeliner. Anyways, I'm just gonna quickly do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished my other eye, the lash is just drying. So we're gonna do our base and I think I'm gonna go for the Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. I recently posted a review, so if you guys wanna check that out, I'll link it in the info box. And I use the shade 12.5. This is what it looks like and it comes with a massive doe foot applicator. It smells really nice. I'm just gonna use my beauty blender and then I'm just gonna blend it all out. A lot of you are waiting for the uh, NYX, the new NYX foundation review, which will be up soon. I've also been trying out the new Sleek concealers. I'll have a review on that coming up. This shade is like, it's a good colour, but it's a tad, but it'd be probably, it probably would have been my summer colour, but I've been getting paler now and a lot of my foundations are too dark for me now. I'm gonna go for my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer today. So now when I think about Lily, I think about all the years we've spent with her, like all the happy moments we've had with her, rather than thinking about those last two days that we had with her, you know? It's definitely, definitely hard losing a dog, like, or any pet, or anyone in, in, you know, it can, it's not just a dog. But then also some people think it's just a dog, it's not that serious, but it really is because I've grown up with her, like, through every mistake I've had, I've done, through every accomplishment I've had and, you know, managed to achieve, she's always been there, you know, and to think that she's not going to be there now is I think that was the hardest part for me like realizing and coming to terms with and I get it now but it's still it's still hard you know every time we were sad or you know really stressed out I st I'm someone that stresses out a lot sometimes you know 
I, I even think I have panic attacks where I just can't breathe and I feel like my heart is pounding out of my chest. Um, and every time I ever felt like that, I would, you know, go to Lily or one of my cats and, you know, they're just there. They're just innocent souls and they just don't know what's going on in life. They're just trying to enjoy it and make the most out of it, you know? It's, it's difficult, but, you know, she's travelled a lot. She's been to places. Lily's done a lot in her life compared to, the, you know, a typical dog who, you know, stays in one country or something like that. Like, she's travelled a lot. <sighs> she's had babies. She's had a man, you know. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder just to set my concealer in place. I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion Bronzer and this is in the shade 35i I'm just going to apply this on my cheeks Okay, I'm now going to use this Hourglass Blush and Ink and Descent Incandescent Electra. Highlight, I'm gonna pack on some Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow Highlighter. This stuff is so beautiful. I'm going to use my Smashbox Primer Water and set that in place. Let me know if you guys have like ever dealt with like using an animal, like how it's been with you guys. Have you, did you get another pet right after or did you wait a long time? Um, I think the family definitely misses that energy of a dog in the house. And uh, it's, def it's definitely very difficult, but I feel better and I've come to terms with everything and Yeah, I think with time I feel like time can heal anything so with time I'll definitely you know We're, we're gonna look back at Lily and we're gonna just remember how of a little happy, you know dog happy dog she was that hated flies and was a very jealous dog, she didn't like anyone coming near my mother. <laughs> I'm gonna grab some of the uh, palette again. I'm gonna grab some of the, I don't know what color to put underneath. I think I'm gonna use the darker blue underneath. This is definitely makeup therapy. Like I feel so much better already, like just playing with makeup. I've been dying to use these palettes as well. Ooh. Okay, so then for lips, I don't really know what to go for, but I think I'm going to go for a deep purple lip and maybe put some of the shadow on it. So I'm going to use this Maybelline Stay Matte, Stay Matte Ink in Escapist. I just popped in a bot. I popped on a bit of this color here. All right, guys. So this is the final look. It's definitely out of my comfort zone, but I had a ton of fun making this video and just sitting down and talking to you guys. It's good to be back filming, and um, expect some more reviews to come soon. And yeah. I'm so glad I filmed, like, I think I chose the right day to do it, like, every day I was like, is today the day? I was like, nah, it's not, you know when you just know? Um, I definitely had a gut feeling, like, today I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys and, you know, play with makeup. So I've been dying to play around with these, so thank you, Herda Beauty, for sending those over. Thank you so much for your sweet messages, just for showing so much love always, and you, you guys are just so positive, like, 
I don't know if it's just me, but I rarely ever get hate comments or like hate hateful people, you know, on my channel or my Instagram. So I'm very grateful for that. It's just thank you guys for being so positive and lovely to me. But anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day so far. I will see you guys in my next video. Love you lots. Bye.